Limno tutorial for beginners, all you need to start with Limno. Hello guys, Celia here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily use this online virtual whiteboard Limno. So basically all we need to do is just to visit our website limno.com and here we are. We can easily find some information in the top of the screen. Also there is like information about their pricing, we'll discover it a little bit later. And we can easily try it for free, so we can just simply input our email. So in my case I'm going to continue uh, with my email. So here we are on our dashboard where we can start quick tutorial by Limno. I'm going to skip this part. And uh, basically as you can see the navigation is quite simple, we can only create a new board in the right top corner and we can also manage our information, find our boards, profile information, uh, find the team admin, folder, billings and some other stuff. So let's click on new border and the border name, so let it be a helper man board like this. Uh, the type of the board, whiteboard, grace board or blackboard, let it be like whiteboard and drawing, I'm going to click use it as a solid draw. So let's create a board. And in a few seconds we'll come to our editor and from this page here we can easily interact with our board. So in the top of the screen there is like the trial hands in 14 days so we have like free trial and also we can buy a subscription and in the bottom of the screen there is like option to interact with our board we can see in the left bottom corner some options we can clear copy board share board board admin and also like support and my boards so if we click on share board we can easily find the link if it's necessary as for us to share our board with our friends or our teammates so basically sometimes it could be really helpful uh, in the like next section is about colors here we can switch between different colors we are using uh, and also we can find uh, different instruments here like we can choose the uh, fine tip regular tip or bore tip change the size basically of our uh, like cursor and also we can change the instrument as you can see we have marker here so it's like this uh, we have a pen uh, we have a line basically it's straight uh, we can also switch to arrow so it looks like this also we have a box so it helps us to create like different frames or boxes and also we can create an oval show so like this if you click on shift, we'll create a perfect circle or we can create an oval. Also, we can add like notes or text. So we are going to create a note. We can easily add it right up here. So for example, note like this, we can change the color and we can easily try to resize it. So let's delete this note here. Uh, basically, we need to click on select, delete this one, and then we can easily resize our note. Uh, if you, as you can see, we have like uh, option to select our objects and now it looks like this. So basically we can change the position, we can resize or we can delete if it's necessary. Also, if you're going to speak about like notes or if you're going to add maybe text, let's try to add a text. Uh, we can add it like right up here. So let's add to my channel. So basically, uh, as you can see, we are going to select our objects like note or text. We can find a lot of properties, like we can make it the text bold, italic, underline, change the color, uh, change the alignment, change the font, change the size. So basically, uh, all the properties could be changed in the way like this. And also we can resize like our note here and the same way with the text we can make it bold italic and to interact with text we don't have to select it so basically if you're clicking on this object this text is already like selected so we are ready to interact so let's try to make it a little bit bigger and as you can see now it looks like this so we are going to make it italic we don't have to choose all the text because it's already like created so let's also create a huge text here like this so in order to move our uh, dashboard we just simply need to switch to move instrument and as you can see we can move through the through all the 
like board. We can also zoom in and zoom out so to make it like less in the size and I think it's pretty cool because we can have more like sized here or we can create for example to view only this rectangle or something like this so in this case this is a way of how can we interact also we can undo and redo all the like actions by us so as you can see it's pretty cool and in this case uh, this instrument is all we have we'll click on more we can also like export this board we can add file or add a pin if it's necessary so sometimes if you're working with a team we can easily do something like this so yeah, if you'll click on export, we can export screenshot options. We can like change the opaque background, show images, show notes and text and show pins. If you're going to click on export, we'll just simply export the screenshot of our board. And I think it's pretty, pretty cool. And with the help of these instruments, we can easily build all the schemas we need. So for example, we can build some simple schemas. Let's try to create uh, a schema with ovals with different ovals that be like this 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 so i'm going to zoom out for a little build to three four more rectangles and we can easily create like lines like this 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 and in this case we can after that just input some text here 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 so as for me it's pretty cool and they have like their own style or something like this as for me it's like interesting to interact with this design here and if we're going to click on limno in the left top corner we'll come back to our basically sign up page where we can still sign up with our data here we can go to uh, boards and from this page we can easily manage our board as you can see it's right up here if you'll go to settings we can find like is it disabled or enabled for sharing for drawing for video and so on we can also manage the team and we can easily like delete it or do some other stuff and if you're going to discover the paid plans we can see there is like there are two plans pro and team and also free version with 14 day in trial if you're going to uh, discovered like this pro i think is the most popular we have like unlimited boards unlimited collaborators private and collaborative board options and unlimited video uh, conferences calling time so it's pretty cool we can like use it as a video conference platform and for the team it's like eight dollars per month for team member also like unlimited boards team and private boards team security controls and limited video conference calling time also there's like plan for enterprise and api so this is the way of how can we use limnu whiteboard hope guys this video helped you out please leave a like comment and subscribe i wish you a very good day goodbye